So in this video, we are going to talk about break seals, what break seals are, how to use them and how to make them. Thunderfoot also got a great video about how to make a break seal on his second channel. It's called The Voice of Thunder. And there are many other great scientific glassblowing videos on his channel, so they're very worth checking out. So why to use a brake seal? If you've got a product, for example, cesium, that is sensitive to moisture and oxygen, and you've got it in an ampule like this, this is under vacuum, and you want to transfer it into another apparatus, for example, to redistill it or to use it for another purpose, you've got a problem because there's no easy way to transfer the cesium from this ampule into another apparatus without getting it into contact with air. You could freeze the cesium and then you could open up the ampule and you would get a little bit of oxidation on the surface of the cesium. But there are cases where that's not an option. So that's where brake seals are very handy. So what is a brake seal? This is a brake seal ampule that has already been opened. So a brake seal is pretty simple. You've got a ampule with a very thin glass membrane on the inside. You can see it here. And you would fill up the ampule that is connected to your vacuum system or your still. After that, you close it up under vacuum or under inert gas atmosphere. And then you can use this ampule to store your sample. And if you want to reuse it, you can just connect it on this side to the apparatus you want to transfer it to. Before you connect it, it's very important that you put a magnetic stir bar or a magnet inside the tube here. After that, you can connect it by melting it to your apparatus or using a vacuum connector like a quick fit connector. And then you would use a magnet from the outside to break this brake seal to transfer your product into your other apparatus. You have to make sure that the brake seal ampule is connected in a way that the product can flow out of there. If it's a gas, that's not a problem. But that's a great way to transfer your product without getting it into contact with air or moisture. So in this video, I will show you how to make these brake seal ampules and how to use them. I start off by melting off the end of a borosilicate glass tubing. And because the walls are pretty thick on this tube, I'm using another piece of glass to get rid of as much glass as possible on the end I'm melting off, so I can create the brake seal easier. I am then using a graphite tool to flatten the end of the tube. I am then reheating the end of the tubing to be able to suck on one end of the tube to create a bubble. Without letting the glass cool down, I'm connecting another piece of borosilicate glass tubing to my brake seal. The last step is to create a neck so you can seal your ampule easily after it has been filled. You would now connect the ampule with the neck to your still or to your apparatus with a vacuum connector or melt it on there and fill it with your product. For demonstration purposes, I'm just using sand and after I filled the ampule with sand, I'm sealing it with my torch. So let's say you've got your product in your ampule, either under vacuum or in inert gas atmosphere, and you want to transfer it to your apparatus. You could either connect this by melting it to the apparatus itself, or you could use a quick fit connector or another kind of vacuum seal. But beforehand, you would use a magnetic stir bar or a magnet, it depends on the substance you want to transfer, and put it inside this tube before you seal it. 
don't forget it. <laughs> and after you sealed it, you can pull a vacuum on the system on this side. And then you would use a magnet from the outside to smash your um, brake seal. Just like that. Normally, of course, the magnet stays in there or the uh, magnetic server stays in there. And after that, you can just transfer the product into your system. You, of course, have to make sure that this ampule is connected in a way that the product will either flow out of there or if it's a gas you want to transfer in your system, it's no problem. <laughs>